What's up world, I'm Mr. Vaca, and I just had to drop in today to let you know about a brand new update that I just heard about for Google Slides. Google for Education has rolled out this new update in present mode, where you can now engage students like never before. So without further ado, let's check out this new tool. So if you go open up a Google Slide, you will see that present button in the top right corner. And that's been there before, and if you click on that little drop down arrow, you can choose presenter view or present from beginning. I just go straight to the presenter view and this pop-up window appears. And this is the little like toolbar that you can use to go back and forth between your slides. And you could do the audience tools such as the new Q and A. Now this is really cool, but what I personally like to use is the present mode right in the slide. So I'm gonna click right to my slide and you'll see if I move my mouse, on the bottom left corner, I have that little toolbar that will allow you to do the same thing. Go forward, go back, but wait, that's the old stuff. Now it's time to find out the new stuff. Okay, so if you move over here, check it out, Q&A. You click that and it opens the audience tools, which is right back to that window that we just popped up and you can start a new Q&A. And if I click it, you'll see right here that the present mode, the actual slide that the people are seeing has this new bar at the top. And it says, if you have a question, write or go to this website, slides.app. And it will change based on your presentation. And as the students write questions in, it's going to populate right here, where you are then going to be able to address those questions live. You're not gonna be necessarily typing them back out, but you're gonna be answering them live. So it's like if a student raised a hand, during a present mode, you're now able to do this without necessarily needing to open up a Google Meet. But wait, there's more. You also have, if you go back here, the laser pointer. If you click this, check this out. Whoop, whoop. Loving it. You can do, you know, cool little lasers. And to turn it off, you just click it again. If you want to go see your speaker notes that you have typed in when you were creating your slide, just click this notes icon and it will pull up the speaker notes before we were over here on the audience tools. But now back to the speaker notes, anything that you write in will appear here and the students will not be seeing this box, this presenter toolbar, only you are seeing. The students are gonna be seeing just this slide and that bar at the top. And that wraps it up. Hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, feel free to comment, like, hit that subscribe button, share with your friends because it helps out the channel a lot. Most importantly, don't forget to work hard, play hard, and I'll catch you next time.